guys, what's going on? It's Captain Dan. Um, it's been a little while since the coronavirus, and we haven't been able to get uh, you know too much fishing in. But uh, I was really fortunate the other day to be able to pick up uh, almost a dozen goggle eyes. And there is a perfectly bridal bait. And he is extremely lively. He is skipping across the top like there is no tomorrow. So I'm, I'm gonna run him out probably about, ooh, I don't know, maybe 150, 200 feet out. And go as slow as I possibly can, just a real slow troll. Running at about, ooh, about, about two knots. Get some nice looking bottom down there. The uh, goggle eyes are probably the best bait in the ocean. That and speedos. Anyway, follow me. It's going to be a great day. Mm -hmm. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. The goggle eyes work. What have we here? <laughs> Down pretty deep, got some head shakes. Hey, looks like a king. Ooh. <laughs> when kingfish on board pretty fish yeah, got him with a circle hook right there you buddy goggle eyed you goggle eyed you our boys got some serious teeth because these guys are not my favorite fish in the whole wide world Whew, the boat's slippery as hell that's a nice size fish. Ha! Happy! Alright, goggle eye one. Alright, so we, we let him go. Again, uh, the kingfish is not my favorite fish. Uh, <laughs> probably second to barracuda. But the point is, the goggle eye did it. The bridling did it. And the bridling of the bait. He took that circle hook perfectly in his mouth. And even though he's a toothy critter, uh, it worked out perfect. So, all right, follow me. It's a good day. I really like, uh, I really like these uh, these goggle eyes. So far, um, they've really proven to be uh, a really, really good bait. I mean, that was the first cast or first drift or it's very, 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 very slow troll is what we're doing. So as soon as we get into about 130 feet of water, boom. So we know there's kings out there. Now I'm hoping that there's maybe even a stray wahoo. Uh, a big tuna would be nice. So, anyway, 
we'll see. We're gonna bridle, uh, we'll bridle another bait and do it all again. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to bridle a bait. Very, very easy. Picked up some goggle eyes the other day, They're quite a surprise to me. Happy that I was able to get them. Uh, first time that I was able to cap, cap, get them myself. Extremely expensive bait down here in the Keys. If you can find goggle eyes, you're in fish. But unfortunately, they run about anywhere from like 60 to even $100 a dozen. So I was able to pick up, uh, I think, 11, and uh, they're just the best bait there is. So uh, I'm gonna bridle another bait and get it on out there. I'll show you how to do it. I'm gonna take this needle and this small black rubber band. Both of these I got from Captain Pete's, as you can see here. I think they were three. 349 for two of them and then these were the rubber bands were 259 259 for I don't even know how many 50 of them or whatever they are so, so you just take it and put it like that and you can put it through the fish's back you can put it through his nose or you can fit it through his eye socket so I prefer to go through the nose because then he tracks real straight right behind the boat all right so here is a beautiful goggle eye Okay, that's all it is. I'm just going to take this needle with the rubber band, run it through his nose, and pull it carefully through. So the rubber band is showing on both sides. Then take your, then hold the fish. I almost ate him. Important part, hold the fish. Goes through one end of the rubber band and through the other end. So you got them both. And twist it around a few times until it tightens down. And then take your circle hook and bring it back through the rubber band so it holds. The last because I'm going to try to use a stinger rig without trying to get hooked, if that's possible. Lately, it hasn't been. It's been like hooks three, Dan zero. So we're going to sting them right up there. And we're going And that's all there is to it. So you just kind of just get the rubber band through both ends, put that hook through, twist it a couple of times, bring it back underneath itself, and it holds perfectly. Fish on, fish on. Man, they still that school of fish way out there. Oh, did he pull the hook? Oh, no, 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 he's here. He just rushed the boat. Whew. Hoping that this is a big black fin, not a bonita. No color yet. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Bonito! I had a feeling it was Bonito when I saw those birds running around. Good fight, but it's not a Bonito.
a bad size for Benito. I'm going to let him go. But uh, good fight. So that totally explained why I didn't get any hits on the uh, goggle eyes. I was hoping there's some tuna mixed in with them, and I still hope. But I, uh, apparently the school has gone down. So we're going to keep going. Seen a frigate bird up there like that, circling that one area there. Come on, baby, show me where the fish are. Yep, show me where the fish is. Fish on big time. This guy's not coming up easy. Got some color. Oh yeah, big old grouper. Ho oh. ho Big old grouper. Yeah, <laughs> that's a beast. Oof. Oh, crap. Man. That's a big boy right there. Holy crap. Craziest thing is, is he's got a hook in him from somebody else. Big old circle hook. We're going to get out of him right now. Look at this big old circle hook was stuck in him. Whew. That is a big boy right there. Holy crap. Let me tell you. Look at that. Remember the circle hook with the wire? I don't even know how many pounds he is. Compliments of goggle eyes. Almost didn't get him up off the bottom. Ugh. That is a beast. That is a big boy. Man, man. Alright, believe it or not, he's going back. But I just enjoy catching. Yep. There he goes. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Freaking goggle eyes, man. They catch everything. Whew. All right. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> catch me another one. That was awesome. I especially like the hook that I got. Him with this big old circle hook and this like hundred pound 
monofilament, which he broke off probably on a rock. So. <laughs> anyway, bridling, it works. With the needle, awesome. That fish was just live, he took off. I know he was going for the rocks, I had to haul into him to kind of get him out. And it's not a big, big, heavy rod and reel, but it worked, we got him out of there. So we got fish under, under us, under, under the boat. I think it's about time we try it again. So follow me, that was awesome. So heading out, you know, back into the same spot, I've been doing a good drift. And I just wanted to say that uh, I know I'm gonna take a, a lot of uh, grief for throwing that fish back. But here's the deal, I mean, I just, I don't believe in keeping every single fish I catch. We got some at home in the freezer. Uh, if I picked up a tuna today, I would probably keep a tuna. But um, that group was huge. I just as soon throw that, throw me back for another day or a spawn. Um, I don't know, just, uh, you know, it's a good fight, it's a good catch, it's fun. Uh, let's see if I can catch another one. So now I'm just kind of uh, I'm doing the uh, the hook right behind the fin, so he can swim pretty free. That big old grouper just swallowed. So I'm pretty sure that uh, because I could do this with the goggle eyes, I'm thinking of doing the exact same thing with value, just through the nostrils, and then just kind of right right up the front, so he'll be down there swimming free. Get this thing on lockdown because when they uh, when those black grouper hit, they just they, they run for the rock. I lost a really nice one before he just went right straight into a rock. There's nothing I could do. The only reason why I'm holding the rod instead of letting the, the hook set itself is because as soon as they get hooked, you gotta get them out quick. Otherwise, this will happen. Same thing happened to this guy. You get in those rocks, and there's nothing you can do. Same thing. Just run them through the nose, butterfly them, let them go down, and uh, see if we can make something productive that way. So, All right, so um, I had uh, one last goggle eye that was kind of—he was just about had it, just about dead. So I butterflied him up, and then I did the uh, brindle, brindle, brundle, I don't know, whatever you call it. Whatever you call it when you stick the thing through the nose, and um, sound down. So we'll do that last one. I brought—I um, got—I think I got a total of 11 the other day, and I brought out eight today. So. Not, not, not bad for the first time out trying this, and I'm really enjoying doing it. And it keeps them alive much longer, and, um, and um, goggle eyes are a heck of a bait. So I'm going to continue to look for them in the future, see if I can target them more often, and, um, and be successful again. Yeah.